Hi guys, today I will teach you the Kirchhoff voltage law. The Kirchhoff voltage law states that the sum of the voltage around a closed current loop is zero. I will uh, explain to you what this means. Okay? Ignore this these currents. Okay? Ignore these numbers. But here you have a closed loop. Okay? Closed loop is when y y the current have nowhere to go. Okay, it can't be out of here, so we can say that this is a loop, we'll call it I1, and here we have another one, we'll call it I2, okay, so let's do the calculations, okay, first of all, we know that the Ohm's law is V equals to R plus I, multiplied by I. So, let's do the math. We know that here we have a voltage supply, so uh, Vs plus R1 I1 that is the voltage in here, in R1 plus I1 minus I2 Okay, because I1 is going down here, at here, I1 is going down, and I2 is going up. Okay, so I1 minus I2 multiplied by R2 plus I1 multiplied by R5 is equal to zero. Okay, understand? So we know this right now, let's do for I2. So, now we know, we know that I2 is going up and I1 is going down. So, I2 minus I1 multiplied by R2 plus I2. Forget these currents, okay? Multiplied by R3 plus I2 multiplied by R4. It's equal to zero. Now, you can do a system of equations to, to find I1 and I2, okay? You can do something like this. be simple I will put like R1 is equal to R2 equal to R3 that is equal to R4 that is equal to R5 is equal to 1k okay and I, I will uh, give this I don't know uh, 12 volts okay the power supply volts Ok, let's do the mat. We know, now we know this, so... Let's put this, so let's do like this, ok. So, we now know the equation for I1, and this gives to me minus 4.5 amps. So, now we can't 
it in here and we know that divided by 3 it's equal to minus 0.5 amps and like that we know these two currents okay guys this is always like this okay guys we can put more uh, uh, loops uh, but uh, the concept is this okay thanks for watching and i see you on the next video